jumped over him? Was that going through your mind when it came up? Um, it was going through my mind. I mean, I saw that it was, as soon as I turned my head around, I saw it was me and him. Um, I figured, you know, why not? Let's, let's, let's try to make something happen right now. Have you ever done that on your head? Um, I did last year as, as a senior, but the dude dove at me, so it was a little different. I wasn't used to getting up as a Do you think this was maybe your most complete game as a Husky so far? And maybe you got this kind of yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, I was a little quiet that second half, but as far as the first half goes, I feel like I was complete and not. Uh, um, you know, as far as you know, if the team goes, we, we won, so we, and I feel like I did enough to, to give us the victory. How proud is Papa today? Um, he's going to be real proud, man. I can't wait to walk out of the tunnel and give him a little um, Last year, Jermaine Kirst got the go ahead touchdown in the corner of the end zone against Nolan Washington. Yours kind of looked the same. He didn't look like he knew where the ball was. Did you see something there? Um, I mean, he had good coverage on me. I mean, uh, that was a, that was really good coverage on his part. You know, Keith just put the ball in the perfect spot. You know, for him not to make a play, um, and I was able to just catch it, put that foot in there, and uh, get that. Play. How different was this for you? You knew a lot of guys. Um, yeah, it was real different. You know, I felt real good being able to uh, to play against you know Gino and Jordan and a lot of guys I used to play with. Uh, it was a different experience, but you know, I loved it. I enjoyed it. I can't wait till next. Week. Comments from Gino after the game? Um, you know, he just told me he loved me. Uh, he told me that, you know, he's real proud of me and, uh, you know, the same thing. I told him the same thing, you know, that's my guy. He taught me a lot. He taught me mostly everything I know about the receiver position. So, you know, I'm thankful for him for that. Chris, can you talk about your growth from, say, August till now? What, what's the difference in your game? Um, you know, every single week I try, I try to take on a little bit of something different. You know, as a receiver, there's so many things that you can work on. Um, a whole bunch of little things that you can work on. And I feel like um, each year I, or each week I got better at doing that. Uh, uh, and there's a lot of things that I had to work on, and I was able to tackle something new each week, and uh, I can be able to have more of a complete game. When you think about the next couple of years with you and Keith and Austin, what, what do you think about it? Um, we're going to be real special. Uh, I know that we, we still have a lot to work on, and there's still a whole bunch more things that we can do. Um, but, you know, we're going to be a real special group, and I can't wait to see what happens. I don't know if you pay attention to the outside, but everybody expected you to just come in here immediately and be the superstar. Is this the way you expected it for it to take a little time in the first year and then by the end of the year you're really kind of finding your best? Um, I was just going to let it come to me, you know. And just, if that's how it was going to be, if I was going to come in and make all the plays to make, then that's how it was going to be. But if uh, it was going to take some time, then, you know, I was just going to ride it and continue to get better and adapt to the game. Back returning punts, he seemed to just really have a weird, when he kicked it, it just, it's yeah. like a knuckleball. Yeah. Um. You know, the punt game is definitely something that I feel like I need to work on a lot. Um, I'm only averaging about seven yards a kick, which I don't think is good enough. Uh, in this game, you know, I feel like the way the ball was coming, I had a lot of opportunities to make something happen. Um, only really did on one on that last one, but, you know, that's still it's an improvement for me, and I need to keep uh, working on it and, you know, hopefully do a little bit more. Jason, when you calculate a decision to make a, a leap like that over, as you did, uh, if you screw that up, it's a long way down. Yeah, it is. I, but to be honest, you know, if you're going to go for something like that, you don't, you don't think about the consequences. Your main goal is, you know, is just get over and get down and continue going. Um, so I wasn't really even thinking about the consequences. But as I was up there, I was thinking about it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it actually is. If you're standing, if you're standing straight up and you try to go for it, that is a penalty. I got flags for that. Just real, quick, just real quick, the skyline seems to be chugging right along with how you mm, My guys, my guys, I'm so happy for those guys, man. They, if you look at them, they don't look like a team that can be really doing damage. But, you know, I talked to Coach Taylor. He tells me, you know, they just believe. And, you know, they're just going to keep fighting and keep fighting and, and get that championship that we missed out on. Thanks. Is there a more long jump or high jump? Or long um, I say that's more high jump. I say that's more high jump because it's more of a ball vertical. Um, yeah, that's probably more high jump. <laughs> what is your vertical? Um, to be honest, I have no idea. Um, I did it. I tested it at a camp one time, and they told me, and no lie, I just slipped out of my head.